here now with more South Carolina Senator Lindsey Graham. Senator, uh, I, I look at this 17 days early voting in Georgia, uh, in person early voting, zero in the state of Delaware. You want an absentee ballot? You have to provide an excuse. <laughs> yeah. That's not the case in Georgia. Uh, drop boxes all over Georgia, none are in Delaware, and both have voter ID laws. So how does Joe Biden, especially with his race history himself, uh, dare to make the allegation time after time, this is Jim Crow 2.0, and look at the financial devastation that occurred thereafter? Well, they're trying to intimidate corporate America to abandon the Republican Party. And here's my message to corporate America, corporate Georgia. Have you lost your mind? Don't you realize that the only thing between you and your companies and your shareholders uh, and the Democratic agenda of high taxes, incredible regulations, and unbelievable spending is the Republican Party? Don't you realize that the Republican uh, Georgia uh, the two Democrats in Georgia and the United States Senate are fully on board for the most radical agenda in the history of the country when it comes to tax spending and regulation. So they're intimidated. Here's what happened two days ago uh, when I was in Georgia speaking to the uh, annual Republican Party fundraising dinner for the Republican Party of Georgia. 18 corporations who gave money last year decided not to give a dime this year. Only one corporation in Georgia helped the Republican Party, Georgia Power. They lost $150,000 because corporations in Georgia have been intimidated by this idea of Jim Crow 2.0. So I'm going to give $75,000 from my campaign to the Georgia Republican Party, who we're going to need to take the Senate seat back in Georgia. And I'm asking people, uh, the Hannity Army that's always helped me, see if you can chip in a few bucks to help the Georgia Republican Party make up for the money they lost because of this boycott by corporate America of conservatives in Georgia. Go to lindsaygram.com. It will send you to the Georgia GOP site. You can, you can help make up the money they were lost that was lost because corporate America is being intimidated by the left. I like the idea. Herschel Walker was recently on this program. Uh, <laughs> yeah. Apparently moved back to Georgia. Interesting timing. Um, yeah. And he is, he is open to running against uh, Warnock in 2022. Yeah. Now, I happen to be a fan of Herschel mm -hmm. Walker, and not just Herschel Walker, the <laughs> football player. I like Herschel Walker, the man, the person, the human being. And yeah. I think he'd be a great Absolutely. senator from Georgia. And I think Warnock, and I think Stacey Abrams, and I think the Democratic Party in Georgia, they have a lot of explaining to do, as well as corporations like Delta and Coca-Cola. Well, let me just put it this way. When you look at uh, Senator Warnock's voting record, he's down for the Green New Deal. He's for court packing. He's for eliminating the filibuster. He's for the uh, um, massive tax increase. He's for $6 trillion more of spending. He's for everything that AOC is for. So if you have a chance in Georgia to replace him with a Herschel Walker and you're a CEO of a company, who depends on free enterprise to make a living, and you don't see the benefit of a Republican in Georgia, you should be fired. You've lost your mind. If you can't understand the difference between where Herschel Walker would take corporate America and free enterprise versus uh, Senator Warnock, you should lose your job, and shareholders should be all over these companies for abandoning the company who needs free enterprise, less regulation, less taxes to flourish. I see that there is the emergence now of a new Democratic Party and a new Republican Party. And, and there's a certain desperation, yes. I think, within the Democratic ranks that if we have, well, let's see, free, fair elections, which would include voter ID, uh, chain of custody, partisan yeah. observers observing, you clean up the rolls, uh, you know, just the fundamental signature verification, those five things, they seem threatened. But there is a lieutenant governor of the state of North Carolina that I know you're fond of that I think would make a great Senate candidate from that state. There are two unbelievably amazing African-American women in Pennsylvania that are likely going to make a run for the Senate there. I think both can win that state, and I would love to be able to support both of them. It looks like the Democratic Party, they want to well, be the party of coastal elites. Go for it. Yeah, I would just say to my Republican colleagues, can we move forward uh, without President Trump? The answer is no. 
I've always liked Liz Cheney, but she's made a determination that the Republican Party can't, can't grow with President Trump. I've determined we can't grow without him. All of these people like Herschel Walker and all the people you just named are attracted to the Trump Republican Party, economic populism, uh, America first agenda. If you don't get that as a Republican, you're making the biggest mistake in the history of the Republican Party. The reason our party is growing with minorities and with working men and women is because President Trump appears to be on the side of people working really hard appears to be on the side of opportunity, not dependency, because he is. So I just want to tell everybody, if you want to help take back this seat in Georgia, stand up to corporate America. Let's make up the money the Georgia Republican Party lost. I'm in for 75000 Help me get the other 75000 to the Georgia Republican Party, lindsaygram.com. We're not going to be held hostage by these people. I donate, but every time I donate money to any political cause, I get yelled at by my bosses. <laughs> you can do uh, this. You can yes. do this. Uh, Let them yell at you. All right. Let uh, Lindsey Graham. <laughs> well, I get yelled at anyway. I guess you might as well, you know, think about it.